This German fighter plane is being chased over the skies of World War II Europe. It is being blown out of the sky by Woonsocket's John Trevor Godfrey of the U.S. Air Force. It was a scene he would film in his Spitfire or Mustang 36 times, making him one of the two most heralded flying aces of the Second World War. He even named his most famous plane after his brother, Reggie's reply. He was on a transport ship. It was torpedoed. His name was Reggie. Um, so the, my father basically swore vengeance at that point, and his plane was named Reggie's reply. John Godfrey joined the Canadian Air Force in 1941, and when he was trained as a fighter pilot, he became an officer in the U.S. Air Force. But the whole story is not of war. It is of a man who became a Rhode Island state senator from East Greenwich and a successful businessman in Freeport, Maine. It is also the story of the flying ace who contracted amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and died young. Basically, I remember that he was my father. Um, that's the part that I remember. As far as did we ever have any talks, I mean, I was 10 when he died, 8 when he was sick. So we never, I mean, it was never shared as far as war experience, etc., except I knew what he did. When he flew over Germany out of England, Hitler's pilots had a battle cry, get Godfrey. They never did. I'm very fortunate that he was my grandfather, um, just to know that I'm related to somebody that did something, you know, basically fairly amazing. He shot down 36 planes. In 1956, at the age of 34, Godfrey was told by his doctors he had Lou Gehrig disease, incurable then, incurable now. Despite traveling around the world to find a cure, he couldn't do it. So he resolved to spend his life and time with wife Joan and two sons, Bob and Jay. In June 1958, Godfrey died. He was 36 years old. He has not been forgotten. Uh, I still travel the state each day in what I do for a living, and somebody will pick up the name Godfrey. And they will ask me, there was, there was a fighter pilot, you know, were you related? I said, yes. So people still, still remember. Major John Trevor Godfrey was buried at Maple Root Cemetery in Coventry. The stone is small, his contributions to his country large, and not to be forgotten. Glenn Laxton, 12 News.